Sassafras. The scientific name is pronounced Sassafras albidum. It is a member of the Lauraceae family or the laurel family. Um, sassafras is very recognizable in the forest due to the uh, three leaf shapes that it often has. Um, sometimes the leaves form a catcher's mitt. Often leaves have three to five lobes, but uh, sometimes you have entire trees made up of an entire leaves, uh, which can be a little more difficult to distinguish. Um, they are a in, uh, shade intolerant species found in gaps and along forest edges and can occur in thickets from root runners coming from the parent tree. Uh, another identifiable feature, especially for winter identification, are the green stems that sort of have uh, dark splotches on them, but sometimes you find them entirely green. Uh, they are finely pubescent with small lenticels uh, on the stems. The stems and leaves are aromatic, and when you crush them uh, and smell them, they have kind of a, a lemony lime smell. Uh, the roots of sassafras used to be used to make sassafras tea, and traditionally in southern cooking, the pith of sassafras could be ground and used in gumbo as a thickening agent. And sassafras is uh, does have a wide range and grows best in the um, moist forests of the Great Smoky Mountains. And this is sassafras albidum.